Oops. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jessica. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today is actually August 6, 2012. Don't worry, I'm not going to give you folks a uh, makeup tutorial. Um, I think you'll not have well makeup. I don't know what your finger um, before you put on your eyeshadow. It sticks better. Or not. Um, so, yes, today is August 6th, 2012. I am actually preparing uh, preparing for another week. Um, figured I'd do a video. I tried to do this video yesterday. Um, it didn't really turn it out, so I'm sorry, and don't worry, I got my brush too, so. Um, yes. So the last couple weeks have been frustrating for me, um, which, you know, hey, it's common sense. I'm out here in the middle of the desert, out here in the middle of Timbuktu. Um, I'm actually getting ready for an interview right now, so excuse me. Um, I figure if I put on my makeup, just sort of throw it on really quick, it might help a little bit. Obviously, I being in the truck driver, I don't want to get all dolled up. That would be, like, counterproductive, I would think. So, but, hey, it's not like I'm 20 or anything. So, um, i got to put it on accordingly. Oops, I don't want that one. Maybe it's just me, but whenever I put on makeup, I, like, use the marker first on the top. And then the crown on the bottom. Anyway, so, the last couple weeks have been frustrating for me. Um doing these videos uh, sort of help relax me a little bit and prepare me. Um, so I first of all want to thank everybody. No, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Um, for uh, helping, um, listening. Even if it's only for a couple seconds and you turn it off, at least you know, the views are there. I know my videos are kind of long at times, so sometimes that in itself can get challenging and you miss a few things here and there, but like I said earlier, this last couple of weeks have been really, really frustrating. Um, not sure what to quietly think. Um, I came close to having a job like so many times. I've never had this problem before. Um, Especially with the experience I have as a truck driver, I just go out and get a job. Really easy, like. So, um, but unfortunately with my line of work, they require this little thing called a background check, which most companies now do that anyway, but especially in the truck driving industry, before they hand you a twenty or $30,000 semi-truck, even though it looks like a piece of crap, it's got dirt and it's falling apart, it's, those things ain't cheap. Um, they like to do a background check on you. To make sure you're everything you say you are. Um, so I think that's where I'm running into a little bit of difficulty. Because when I apply for a job, obviously it's like, well, okay, you got a CDL, you got a tanker, your husband, and daughter. wow, yes, we can use you. Fill out an application, give us your resume, and we'll get that right rolling. And, it's like, they don't say anything, they don't let me know, or, I mean, I also got another thing falling back on me, if those that were paying attention a few months ago, I did get fired from my last job, even though the unemployment turned it around, and I'm actually collecting unemployment, because um, I won it in my favor, I shouldn't have got fired, um, it's still another obstacle I gotta deal with, my last, last job, wasn't under the name Jessica, um, and I got fired from it, so I am working with all that stuff, and it's kind of frustrating. So, um, and now I pull up the magic crayon. Got to have the magic crayon. Um, 
So, but everybody's been real nice. It's kind of weird. I know what the challenge is, and I know I'm bouncing all over because I always bounce everywhere, but I know a lot of the challenges that cisgender women have to deal with, you know, when applying for a truck driving position in a male-dominated industry. Um, you know, it's not an easy profession for female truck drivers. First of all, a female, you gotta prove herself like twice as fast, or twice as more. Um, so that might have some deal with it too. So I'm, I'm feeling sort of some of that and some of my other, I don't know how many background checks. Um, all I know is I've, I've applied at least 20, 15 to 20 different companies and even though a lot of them were emails, I don't know. I've never had this frustration. I applied one, two companies, boom, I'm tired. So it's been frustrating. Um, which, like I said, I knew it would be. But here I am, I'm soldiering on. I mean, yesterday I was actually going to go to the fairgrounds um, because I got a county fair here. Woohoo! <laughs> we're talking a big, huge town of what, 3,000 people. I think there's more in that county, I think. But anyway, it's a small little fair. It's not like a state fair or nothing. Um, I got rodeo roping and a couple country singers. And yeah, not your typical. So, anyway. Um, it's been kind of frustrating. And I was going to go to the there and relax a little bit and then I got there and I just I was so depressed I was so bummed out I've been and it's not I don't know it's a weird form of depression it's not like oh my gosh I'm depressed well it is it's more a frustration level I don't know if that makes any sense um I mean I know I've been very very blessed with my transition I, Hasn't even been a year yet. Um, and my transition's just going so smoothly. I mean, I got a passport that says female. I got, you know, I got loved ones that care about me, family members that, you know, that always think about me and worry about me. And, you know, they pray for the best for me. And here I am out soldiering on, trying to do my thing and we're going on the second month now. I mean, it's a little over one month, but it seems like two months, and it's been really, really frustrating. So. But, you know, there's still hope. I got a, two companies I'm going to today. So I can get checked with them. Yes, you. Folks, do not try this at home. You might poke your eyes out. Um, <laughs> and it's gray. So you, in case you guys don't know, it's not black. Because my age group, we don't want them to pop, pop out. But we do want to take care of them. And of course, I do use Great Lash number 579. I'm joking. I don't even know what number it is. It's the black, right? <laughs> the same makeup tutorial. So I can still laugh. I can still have fun. And it's just been really, really frustrating. So I've been dealing with that. Um, the best of my ability, I've been dealing with that. But, um, it's all good. I hate doing the bottoms. Um, I don't like this stuff. This stuff clumps everywhere. <sighs> So, I'm wondering 
you know, I'm attacking this week. I'm attacking everything. I'm actually, I finished this one eyebrow. Never make the video. Doing your makeup, people fall asleep really quick, like. That, I'm not used to this mirror that I'm using. Not used to this mirror whatsoever. So even though I've been tempted to um, give up, um, I haven't. And believe me, it's been very, very tempting to just like give up. Say screw it, you know, hey, I don't need a job. I, fortunately, I do. I'm not going to be happy without it. Everybody needs money. They need a job. So this is not one of my better videos. This is why I did not complete it yesterday. Um, because it's not one of my happy videos. I like to do happy videos. But I am soldiering on. I'm putting on my makeup for today. Getting all dolled up. Um, now I'm planning ahead for the week. So don't mind me. Um, one thing I did, notice, I've seen that coming apart. One thing that, you know, I did, that did happen in, um, earlier in the week is I did turn down a joke. I need to get this out of the bag my hand. I had to put it in the back of my hair so it keeps I'm doing my eyes. Um, and there's the brush in the video. You thought you'd go a whole video without me brushing my hair. <laughs> so, um, this week's been really, really, you know, it's also been really, really good. Unfortunately, I have had to turn down jobs. Um, I turned down one job, which my spiral back down. This is what it takes to get prepared for week. I just find these little things easier. So, um, I had to turn down a job. I mean, it was so frustrating. I found it on the uh, workforce site, and uh, I put in the application. Um, gave them my resume. They were all happy about it. They were like, gosh, cool. And uh, they were even giving me a speech. You know, like, you know, we know how hard it is for the women truck drivers. Or not hard. That was wrong. Um, but how much crap that, you know, we're, we're strong. Female truck drivers are real strong in the And if you get any crap, if somebody flings you a bunch of crap, let us know. Let me know personally. So I was giving that speech, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm going to put in my, my calcium D with vitamin D. Um, so that was neat to get that speech. But they called me back and they were like, okay, you need a drug test. And I was like, cool. I don't do drugs. Um, especially with taking all these hormones. Um, but also being an truck driver you know, behind the wheel of one of those 80,000 kind of vehicles, it don't need to happen. So, anyway, I was getting ready to go over there, and then they called me again, and they were like, oh, by the way, did you know that this was a 24-hour shift job? And I was like, oh my god. Because I've always, it's usually 12-hour days, 6 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock at night, whatever. 12-hour shift, sometimes a little bit over. 13, 14 hours a day. 24? No, I might be able to do that for like a day or two. You know, pull it off. But I'm not as young as I used to be. So I had to call him back and I told him, I, I said, you know, I had to think about it, but no. I, I'm just too old for that. <laughs> I didn't say that, but 
but that's what it came down to. I was just too old. Too old. I'm not a spry chicken anymore. I can't stay up 24 hour shifts. Um, so, and that was frustrating. Turning down the job. I've never turned down a job before. Um, and I think that's really when I hit low. When I got all my excitement built up, I was so excited. And to have it all turned down just by a 24 hour shift. And I was just honest with myself. I mean, I could have done it, but I don't want to. 24 hours, I'd be half asleep at a wheel somewhere and fall asleep, run off the road. I, I don't see how they do it. I don't think it's legal, number one. But, number two, I'm just being honest with myself. I couldn't do it. Wait a minute, I forgot. In my estradiol. Um, I got the Oblong. I got both kinds, but I like these the best. I better not take that now. Because I can put it on a tiny. I can't talk really. Uh, I can't talk anyways. Um, so it's been really fun. Um, it's um, you know, I could go and be nice, so. So here I am planning out my week. Um, hmm, I'm trying that again. Some of them. I want it for today. Um, I shouldn't have made a video. I apologize to you guys. I should not make a video and do all this at the same time. And of course, my blood pressure medicine. I'm going for today. Number one, I'm not able to concentrate. That's been my week the last couple weeks. And. So I'm soldiering on. I'm being myself. I'm being true. I'm being myself. Um, I'm going to have to make this video again, obviously. Um, hopefully with some better news. Um, take one day at a time. One step at a time. I'll never give up. It's always hardest in the beginning. and That's what I'm experiencing right now. I, I know once I get a job, it's going to be a challenge. Not to just keep it, but to be able to live my life and be able to transition. And, I mean, obviously everywhere I go, there's going to be naysayers. I'm not going to be naive to the point of think that, you know, everywhere I go, life's just going to be hunky-dory. I know it ain't. It's a challenge. Um, yeah. It doesn't have to be a struggle as much. Um, and that's a couple of times struggle, but it doesn't have to be. Boy, I'm not liking this situation here. What did you do all this for? Okay. I don't even know how I had all this in here. I guess I'm going to take that one out. Hold it on it. Leave it alone. <laughs> it's a distraction. So as you can tell, I guess that's the motto of this whole week is I'm being distracted. You know, I'm worrying a lot about the future uh, when I really don't need to be. Um, I know it's easier said than done. Um, I 
I really need to do this video. <laughs> and I will. Um, but, you know, uh, one thing I did come up with a long, long time ago, I think I've said this before, you know, one of life's, you know, life's greatest challenge. What is life's greatest challenge? And, uh, I just came up to the conclusion one day, I think I was drawing, might have been stoned down in my mind. This is a long time ago. I said life's greatest challenge is life itself. You know? That's it. So, carrying on, soldiering on, being true, being myself. That's all I can do. Um, I'll just say I'm gonna make this video again. It's yes. It just gotta be true. You gotta be yourself. Till next time.